And we have breaking news. This hour we've been following for, which is over an hour now, a police officer has been stabbed near college and Lansdowne. CP24's crime analyst Steve Ryan uh, has just arrived on scene there. It seems to be in a plaza. Steve, uh, what are you hearing? What are you seeing right now? Yeah, Phil, we did just arrive, mm -hmm. but I have uh, spoken to uh, police sources uh, who have given me some information. Now, this is not the official word from police, um, but this is what I have been told. The incident occurred inside the Tim Hortons and then made its way outside of the Tim, Tim Hortons behind me. If I get out of the way, you can have a look at it. As you can see, it's an active scene right now. And the call came across the police radio at 1.30 this afternoon for an assist PC. Units rushed to the scene here. An officer was uh, slashed in the back of the uh, leg by the knee where uh, the injury was very deep. Uh, there was shots fired by the officer, multiple shots fired, and the call had come across the uh, EMS radio and police radio that the suspect was vital signs absent. So both were rushed to hospital uh, via emergency runs. Uh, the officer was being attended to, and uh, the latest information I got was that the suspect uh, was not breathing at the time, and there is no word as to whether or not uh, he was revived or not. Um, you can see there is a large police presence right now, active investigation, that is for sure. Fire is on scene, police are on scene, and you can see the uh, uh, Tim Hortons at the parking lot are, are cordoned off as well because that is going to be a, the primary crime scene of this investigation. And Steve, I, I know you just got there. Uh, you know, we just released a story on CB24.com, and you know, we're talking about how this comes after two officers were injured in, in separate assaults uh, on Tuesday night. So this is now the third officer this week uh, that has been injured on the job. Has anyone mentioned that to you? Because obviously you were a former police officer. Has anyone talked to you uh, about? how this seemingly is getting out of hand a little bit. Well, yeah, that's a, a great comment. And, you know, just kind of off-the-cuff remarks, uh, just saying that uh, this is getting out of hand. Uh, to paraphrase what was said to me, um, the officers are certainly concerned. And although we do not know what transpired that led to the radio call for the assistance uh, of a police officer, um, an officer was slashed in the back of the leg and you wonder how would that happen inside of a Tim Hortons was he attacked again was he attacked or she we don't know if it's a he or a she uh, was the officer attacked for perhaps just wearing a police uniform I mean all these things come into mind and all of these officers that are present right now uh, that's what they are, are feeling and that is as a police officer and you heard John Reed from the Toronto Police Association say uh, just the other day when we interviewed him that uh, there's a heightened awareness when it comes to policing, and the police are certainly concerned that that uniform certainly is a beacon um, to attract trouble. And that is a concern. This officer it sounds like they were by themselves in the Tim Hortons when they were hit, slashed in the leg, and then, as I said, multiple shots were fired by the officer in return, striking the suspect several times, and the suspect was VSA. That's the last information we have. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Again, uh, thank you so much. We understand you just got there, so I'm sure we'll get more information. But we do appreciate what you've done already since getting there. Thank you so much, Steve. We'll be in touch, no doubt. Now, this is a statement from the Toronto Police Association. They said, uh, we'll go right from the very top to bottom, on April 12th at around 1.30 p.m., uh, police responded to a call for service in the area of College and Lanza, and that's where our Steve Ryan is. He says the details are still coming in, but here's what we know so far. An officer was stabbed. He he is conscious and breathing. He has been taken a hostile with non-life-threatening injuries. So before, Steve Ryan saying we're not sure if it's a male or female. We now understand it's a male officer. Uh, during the altercation, a person was shot. Uh, they have been taken to hospital. Nothing about their condition at, at we, as we speak. The officer is being supported by his colleagues and the TPA. So again, uh, a male police officer with Toronto Police has been stabbed, taken to a hospital and non-life-threatening injuries, and during the altercation, a person was shot. No word officially uh, on their health status as we speak.